Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today we are going to talk about hypothesis test for the mean. So here I go. A researcher believes that in a certain city, the mean number of people per household is less than 2.5. She surveys a simple random sample of 150 households in the city and finds the sample mean number of people is 2.3 with a sample standard deviation of 1.5. Can you conclude that the mean number of people per household is less than 2.5? So, solution. So we have to test for whether we have enough evidence to support the alternate that the mean number is less than 2.5. And the null hypothesis always contains the equal to sign 2.5. What have we been given? Sir, so sample size n is equal to 150 and x bar is 2.3 with a sample standard deviation, S is equal to 1.5, okay? And alpha, or level of significance. Alpha is level of significance. Level of significance. Alpha is the maximum probability, max probability of rejecting H0 when it is true, rejecting H0 when it is true, it is true, okay? That alpha is given as 0 0.01. So if I create some space, since sigma, which is population standard deviation, standard deviation. Is not known. Use t-test. And we are going to use the calculator. So we will press the stat button then highlight test on the top row and scroll down to t-test, which is number two, I believe. Okay, one thing we have to remember that the value in the null hypothesis is your hypothesized population mean. So this is mu zero. Mu zero is the Hypothesized is 2.5. Hypothesized population mean. Population mean. Okay. okay, so stat, highlight test, and then scroll down to t test. And let's uh, move up. So, mu zero is the value in the null hypothesis is 2.5. So type, so first input should be on stats, okay? Uh, let me make clear that input is on stats. Why? Because we know the summary stats of the sample. So mu zero is the hypothesized value in the null hypothesis, which is 2.5. X bar is the sample mean is 2.3, 2.3. SX is the sample standard deviation is 1.5. N is the sample size is 150. Okay, and what is our alternate hypothesis? Uh, alternate hypothesis. Oops, where did it go? Alternate hypothesis is mu less than mu zero. So in the fifth line, bring the cursor on less than mu zero and hit enter. 
Okay. And then we will go to calculate. Put the cursor on calculate. And hit enter. So we will calculate a test statistic. T is our test statistic. Is a characteristic. A characteristic of the sample. This tick of the sample that we have collected. And T works out to be minus 1.632. And look at the P value just below it is 0 0.0522. P is the probability. of obtaining a test statistic at least as extreme as minus 1.632. Now our alpha level of significance is given to us is 0 0.01. So if I move up a little bit more, so we see P is greater than alpha. Decision, do not reject H0. Conclusion is at alpha equal to 0 0.01. If we do not reject H0, it stays. So we say there is not enough evidence to support H1, which is mu less than 2.5. Okay. So, let me walk you slightly uh, slowly through what I did. So first, uh, we have to write the null and the alternate hypothesis. Now, the alternate hypothesis is the hypothesis which we are testing whether we have enough evidence to support it and or not. And the last statement in the problem says, can you conclude that the mean number of people per household is less than 2.5? So alternate, which is H sub 1, is mu less than 2.5. Our null hypothesis always contains the equality, so mu is equal to 2.5. This 2.5, this 2.5 is the hypothesized value, hypothesized value that is the value in the null hypothesis, which is 2.5. Now, with the information we are given is n equal to 150, sample mean is 2.3, sample standard deviation is 1.5. Further, we have been given a level of significance, which is a maximum probability of rejecting 80 when it is true. That is, we should not have rejected 80, but we are rejecting it, so we are making a type 1 error. Alpha is given as 0 0.01. The next thing we should realize that population standard deviation is not known. Only sample standard deviation has been given to us. Therefore, we use t-test. We are going to use the t-test in the calculator. So stat, then highlight test in the top row and scroll down to t-test, which is number two. Input should be on stats. Why? Because we know the summary stats of the sample. Our mu zero is the value in the null hypothesis, which is 2.5. X bar is 2.3, SX is 1.5, N is 150. And in the fifth line, we select the direction of the alternate, which is less than mu zero. Okay. So, and then we calculate. So we calculate a test statistic, which in this case is a T, T number, and the T is minus 1.632. The test statistic is a characteristic of the sample. Okay. So the P value with the corresponding p-value is 0 0.0522. What is this p-value? It is the probability of obtaining a test statistic at least as extreme as minus 1.632.
Compare this p-value with alpha, level of significance given to us as 0 0.01. So p is greater than alpha, therefore decision do not reject H0. Conclusion at alpha equal to 0 0.01, there is not enough evidence to support H1 mu less than 2.5. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, any comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. This is because I have solved all kinds of math problems just for you. And not only that, please do not forget to check me out tomorrow when I'll be back with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day.